So you've just had this exciting 50th anniversary uh, celebration here. Uh, we're, of course, thinking of this wonderful 100th anniversary of Columbia Business School. As you look back, what do you think are the biggest lessons for investing over the past 100 years? Well, I really think the best lessons are the ones I learned at Columbia. The, uh, uh, I, you know, I went there because Ben Graham taught there, and, and uh, I think his advice is timeless. And one of the interesting things is that his book, The Intelligent Investor, which first came out in 1949, uh, if you go to Amazon, it's always somewhere between like number 200 and 400 after you know, 60, 66 years to be between 200 and 400 when somebody else is 100,000 or 200,000. It, it, the lessons are timeless. They're simple, but they're powerful. And mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, I haven't learned anything better since I got out. <laughs> so this may mean that for the next 100 years, do you think anything will change in that or the same, same I, principles, same, same principles, approach? Yeah, I mean, it, as my partner Charlie Munger says, if, 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 you don't, if you don't believe in value investing, what do you believe in? I mean, what, what are you looking for if you're not looking exactly. for value? And, and, and uh, Graham laid out the philosophies so well, so simply, so powerfully, uh, that what I learned at, you know, at 19 or 20 from him, you know, mm -hmm. is, is it, I've applied it ever since.